welcome to something that we're calling Sabrina Recommends, where I'm gonna go through just a list of books that I've read recently that I think are gonna be great for uh, third through fifth graders. Uh, just let you know what they're about, some of the themes that are involved, and you can decide whether or not it's something you wanna read. So the first book I'm gonna talk about is called Mercy Suarez Changes Gears by Meg Medina. It's the 2019 Newbery Medal Award winner. Uh, I genuinely did enjoy this book. It is about a Cuban-American girl named Mercy Suarez who is exploring, kind of going from the fifth grade to the sixth grade, from a public school to a private school, and dealing with family issues, uh, particularly with her grandfather who has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And uh, it kind of goes through what the family is experiencing going through that transition with him. Um, it's great. It talks about bullying. It talks about uh, some drama going on at school, uh, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think it would be great, especially for maybe a fifth grader that's going to be transitioning into sixth grade soon, or for someone who's dealing with an aging family member that could be a little bit confusing. Uh, I'd probably give this book four out of five stars out of the ones that I reviewed today. It wasn't my favorite, but I think it's really, really great, and I really enjoyed reading it. The second book I'm going to talk about is called Hard Scrabble by Sandra Dallas. This book I really enjoyed. It is uh, set in 1910. It follows a girl named Belle Martin and her family as they move from Iowa to a homestead in Colorado where they kind of have to learn how to work the land for themselves and figure out how to make it work for them. They face a lot of challenges and hardships like uh, inclement weather and locusts that ruin their crops and even sickness and death in their family. It's a very beautiful story of uh, family coming together and their neighbors coming together to help them. I was pretty excited the whole way through. There was always something going on. Um, I'd probably give this book three out of five stars. It wasn't my favorite out of the ones that I read, but I did really enjoy this story. book I'm going to talk about is easily the favorite out of this group. It's called The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill, and it won the Newbery Medal Award in 2017. This book was very, very good. It is a little bit of a higher reading level, so maybe uh, for my third graders or for uh, people who don't love to read as much, you might want to wait until a little bit later to read this one, but I really did enjoy it. It follows a girl named Luna who, uh, after a series of unfortunate events, gets found in the woods by a witch who enmagics her, gives her magic, and raises her as her granddaughter. Uh, so their little family is uh, the 500-year-old witch, a swamp monster who loves poetry, and a very tiny dragon with rainbow wings. Uh, and it follows Luna as she learns how to use her magic and uh, how to use it for the good of other people, as well as intertwining a few other stories that are really interesting. And kind of at the end of the book, we see how all these stories come together and uh, make for a really, really cool ending. I loved this book. It's a five out of five stars for me, for sure. You just want to be maybe a little bit more advanced on your reading level first. Book number four is Max and the Midnights by Lincoln Pierce. This book is great because it's a graphic novel. So if you're a reluctant reader, uh, maybe a little bit of a slower reader, and you want something with lots of pictures, this is awesome. I really loved it. It's super funny. Uh, and for people who liked Diary of a Wimpy Kid, this book is perfect. Uh, the story follows Max and the Midnights. Uh, Max's uncle gets kidnapped by the king of Bijovia to be the court jester, and Max is going to be on a mission to try to save his uncle. So, the Midnights come along and help. There's lots of jokes along the way. There's lots of fun stuff to just keep you entertained. It moves fast, and it's super fun to read. I'd probably give this one four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. So book number five is called The Donut Fix by Jesse Janowitz. This book follows a guy named Tris who has just moved from living in New York City to a very, very tiny place out in the middle of nowhere in New York. And he's trying to find something to keep himself entertained. He misses his friends, uh, but he loves to bake. So the little town that he's moved to 
used to be famous for their chocolate cream donuts and no one makes them anymore. So he's decided that he's gonna set out to make the donuts, sell the donuts, and try to bring more life to the little town that he lives in. It's a great book. It shows lots of themes of friendship from the friends that he leaves and the new friends that he makes, as well as family dynamics that can be really hard whenever you move somewhere new. Uh, I would give this book probably three out of five stars. Not my favorite, but really entertaining with a really good message. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the book review. I hope that you enjoyed these. I hope that you come give them a try, check them out, read them for yourself. Uh, if you liked this, I'll be back next month with four or five more books that I've reviewed, uh, and I'll see you guys then. Mm -hmm.